Yeah, Slayer Tower Plank Crossing. So that's pretty much all I got. Um, all right. So then now we add in the hops. This isn't the right time. Oh, all right. Um, look in the vat. It's filled with water. Okay. Um, turn the valve? No, this isn't the right time for that. No, I don't want to drain it. Okay. Um, ales. See, he tells me that I needed two bucketfuls, by the way. So that's why I got them. Anyway, um, then you'll need to put in two handfuls of barley malt. That's roasted barley. Mm. And then you'll put in your main ingredient, like which is your hops, and then ale yeast. Oh, I don't have the barley malt, though. Darn. All right, so I got to go get barley malt, I guess. Boy, that's a shame. Um... Yeah, I, I'm noticing that. Thank you, Episcopat and Spoy. I figured, because I tried to use the second one and said nothing happened, and I think what it did was, yeah, it just, he just automatically put them both in there. That makes sense. Um, now he can't trade. Okay. Um, barley malt. All right, we'll go get some barley malt. That's my fault. I thought it was just hops and ale yeast. Um, you don't, now she doesn't sell it. Okay. Well, then let's uh, just teleport, I guess. I'm not sure if I have barley malt in my bank. So this might be a case of... <laughs> Divert to Kelda River. I mean, I, it's not a bad idea. Um, let's see. Yeah, I got barley malt. But did he say, he said it's ground up, right? Hmm. Let me see this. I don't think I have it ground up enough. I hope I don't need some kind of processing device. When we were in Port Phasmatis, did, did I just drop it into the big, like, grinder thing to... To process it? I can't remember. <laughs> Alright, let me talk to this Joker again. Alright, give me the breakdown, buddy. Uh huh. Oh, it's roasted barley. Oh, no, no, I got it. Okay. So use the barley malt here. Cool. All right. And then it's in there. All right. That's ready. And then now it's time to use the hops. There we go. And then use the yeast. The contents have begun to ferment. It, are there really, boy? Oh. Let me see it. It's fermenting. Oh my god, are you are you kidding me? Do I need to wait before I drain it? Well, we're going to have to go do some other stuff then. Um, Once it... Once you got a 
bad of the good stuff, just turn the valve and the barrel will fill up with eight pints of whatever your chosen tipple is. Mind it's an empty barrel, though. Um, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I'll get another chat message. Okay, well then. If I'm going to get another chat message about it, then it's time to go to the Grand Exchange. All right. So, we made some money, actually, on our wax. The wax prices are, like, double what they were the last time I looked. I don't know if it's because it's the holiday event, but fantastic. All right. Now, what I would like to do is um, buy uh, flies. And we need a 1,000. Okay. And then I'm also going to need to buy um, seeds that are cheap. How cheap are these Asgarnian seeds? Sure. Do you got a thousand of them? Nah, not really. Oh my goodness, Key. That seems like the most you know, ridiculous situation. Are you kidding me? Needed funding to grow hops to make beer. Just like this quest, Key. Oh my gosh. That's some ridiculous cronyism. I hope that they, uh took that person to task. All right, hopefully my animals are not fully dead. Oh, thank you, Nick, man. I'm just reminding that my, uh, my Jadinkos need food. And my poor frogs as well. <laughs> That's hilarious, boy. I wonder, maybe, like, at this period of time while they were making these quests, they were like, all right. We're going to have the player wait a bunch. And then they were like, you know what? People don't like these. Well, at least these frogs aren't dead. Oh, no. You got cursed. Alright, doing good. Yeah, you should. You should get like a six pack at least. Can't give me the seeds here. Oh, no burying. Can you... Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you, Nick Man. I appreciate that, my friend. Alright, let me give the Jinkos. My Jadinkos need some fancy food. They just need any food, really, but... This music is very inspiring. Oh, wait, where'd they go? You said you dropped them near the pen? Oh, the medium pen. I see. Okay. Is this it up here? I don't even know where the medium pen is. Oh, there they are. Thank you.
Hey, Aaron. Good evening, my friend. Thank you, thank you. There we are. Happy holidays. All right, these onions are going to make them proud. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, it is part of it is part of farming, Aaron. And you know, to be honest, because I'm so far behind, there's so many things I can do to fill the time. I was just going to ask once I feed my Jadinkos, turn in these animals, um, you know, which uh, I might go do some D and D work. A dry nose. All right, there we go. Yak Jack? What are you talking about, Yak Track? Got some rewards. Is that what you got, Key? As your degree? I thought you were an HVAC. know what this kind of stuff is. It does seem like that. Alright, here we go. I'm plowing down here. to sell to Papa Mambo. And I'm going to sell here. There we go. Alright, beautiful. Go over here. Uh-huh. There we go. Now... What do I need when I finish the um, stout? What do I need to put it in to take it? Do I need buckets? What do I need to carry the stout out of there? Did he say he just gives you a barrel? I mean, I don't want to just walk back there and not have whatever it is I would need to dispense that into. Oh, look, it's done. Ah, gotcha, Key. Yeah. A beer glass? Okay. Thank you. It makes eight. Alright, um... I have one. One beautiful beer glass. Nick, man, my Anacronia resources are all full up, I think. I might go back and see what I can build. But I've built level 3 of pretty much everything. Or at least a lot of them, anyway. Yeah. 
Yeah, Key, I did the same thing when I was in college. I started as computer science engineering and realized it would be a huge waste of time and money uh, to go into a dead-end field like um, computers and engineering. And so I pivoted to become an, an English major instead and uh, went into the much more lucrative field. All right, now let's look at the, the vat. This vat contains Kelda Stout. Cool, it's done. All right, turn it. And then level it, I guess. I don't know what that means. And it's now empty. And I have a big Kelda Stout. I got one. All right, this guy better be happy with this. That took me quite a while to procure. I know, I really don't want to drink it on accident. Um, I need to know about Red Axe. I want my Kelda Stout. I got some Kelda Stout right here. I just brewed it in the Laughing Miner. Now there's a good human. Give me that. Are you sure? This is pretty bad stuff. You want to hear about the Red Kabosh or what? The Red Kebabs? I mean the Red Axe? Here you go then. Oh, that's the good stuff. The Red Axe? You want to know about them, do you? Then let me tell you my tale. It's long and quite unforgettable. A long time ago, quite a while ago, yes, I resigned from my mining company, the Magenta Accordion. What? The what? The Magenta Accordion? That's not a mining company. It is, it is. It's one of the many minor companies, not part of the consortium. All right, if you say so. Right, so I had just left my company, I'd had enough of slaving away in the mines, and decided to become an explorer. Oh yes, like my uh, cousin. I explored this old mine, you know, just south of Keldegram. I think it's boarded up now. Some amazing things I saw there. First of all, oh boy. And then I nearly fell into the abyss, but I... So I had to run for my life, but then... Pink dragons. <laughs> this is pretty funny. This story's going on for a while, and I don't really remember anything after that. People think I'm a drunken fool. <laughs> That's funny, Sir Theodore. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're just doing their own thing. That was very interesting. I'll ignore that part with the pink dragons, though. But I shall investigate that tunnel immediately, south of the cart station, just south of the carts to White Wolf Mountain. If you say so, I just want to sm smash up some stuff now. Uh, okay, so this guy gets drunk and breaks his place. That's... That's tremendous. A real pillar of the community. Alright, let's look for that cart station. Here it is. Okay, so it's south of this. There's a boarded up mine somewhere. Oh, I see. Look at that. It goes into this, like, crossed-off part. All right. Yeah, ride this train car. Get me in there. It's inaccessible, huh? Um, I want to go there. Make it accessible. Or do I just go over here? Whoa. 
Okay. Well, I could just take this train. Here, can I talk to you? Tickets, tickets, get your tickets. About the closed-off tunnel. Excuse me, can you tell me what's behind that boarded-up tunnel to the south? Why, that part of the mines hasn't been used in a long time. I don't rightly know where, uh, what you would find behind there. I need to go through there. Can you open up the tunnel for me? I don't have the authority to do that kind of thing. Then who do I talk to? I really need to get in. I don't know. Perhaps you have an influential friend? Um. Yes, I do. Alright, so I guess I go talk to the head of the mining consortium? Or the captain, Veldabon? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Either Veldabon or the uh, the Blue Mining com Consortium. You know what, Key? I mean, I say this all the time. First of all, 100%. College is ridiculous in that way that, you know, they throw you in to the lion's den and expect you... Yeah, at 17 or 18 to just make a decision for the rest of your life uh, with, you know, not really great information. And then they don't push the trades enough uh, in, in all levels of education. But, you know, in high school for vocational or other ways, they just need to emphasize, like, if you have a good trade, if you're an electrician, if you're a carpenter, if you're HVAC... Like, you can make plumber fantastic uh, amount of money doing something like that and be in work, you know, for the rest of your life. But they don't really tell you that that's more, you know, sensible than getting, you know, $150,000 of student loan debt for a psychology degree. All right. Um, let's talk to the director. Um, can you help me with the boarded up tunnel? And what will be lurking behind this particular tunnel? I think it leads to something that might be related to the Red Axe. The Red Axe! This is indeed an important issue. They've gone too far this time. A major company willingly leaving the consortium has never happened before. Can you help me get the boarding removed then? Forthwith, Dr. Incompetent, forthwith, I'll order the removal at once. Thanks, I'll investigate the tunnel immediately. Yeah, that's right, this guy's influential. He's a big time consortium mover and shaker. I snap my fingers and the tunnel is opened. This cart conductor is about to be blown away. 100%, Key, I tell my students that all the time. You know, in high school they should have um, definitely dedicate time to practical things like money management um, understanding credit cards, interest rates retirement planning yeah, investments for the long game exactly what taxes do to you, all of these things I wish they had that in more high schools, Nick man you're very lucky, I mean it on that sense, too, with practical things, I wish they would bring back uh, or make more widespread what was called in my day home economics, which was a class that would teach cooking, um, like teach everyone how to cook a certain amount of recipes so they can produce food for themselves without having to, you know, just eat processed packaged foods or go out to eat. Then also teach people how to sew um, and how to iron. Just do basic uh, things like that, like little household skills. They're just not taught. All right. Come on over here. Oh, it's open. 
It's so open. Here we go. You need to have both hands free to ride this minecart. Indeed. That's awesome, Key. You got lucky, my friend. My high school did not offer um, cooking or sewing at all. I took those in middle school. It was just totally not on the table. The counting, certainly not. I had a typing class in high school that was actually very useful. Um, but, yeah, those practic practical skills, I mean... Yeah, home ec, brew. That's what I'm talking about. The other thing, too, I mean, it's just like, I know it's also lame to put onto that, and it's maybe just too much, you know, the curriculum's getting too big, but they should also teach a class about um, how to manage stress, emotional intelligence, um, you know. <laughs> there's just so many things that they could do a good job with, uh that are glossed over. You better collect your follower before you ride your cart. All right, follower. Yeah, exactly. I'll tell you something. What do you guys think? No, no. I th I wanted to dismiss my pet. Did I not click the right thing? Um, dismiss pet. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's gone. What do you guys think about this? Um, oh, I thought you were, um, you know, just getting into the seventh grade, Sir Theodore. Is that... I'm not right about that? I feel like every quest that requires you to put away your follower, like just for a quality of life improvement, um, they should just make the follower like disappear automatically and it should tell you in the chat box like your follower has been put away because it can't go on this. It, it is, I don't know, like maybe it would irk some people, like it, it could be a toggleable thing or something like in the options where it's like auto dismiss your pet for quests or something. Alright, here we go. Oh my. I don't know how my cart fit through that little crack, but I might be worse for wear after that transaction. I'm deep underground now, but how am I supposed to get across here? Oh, there's an option to just auto-dismiss them in the pet interface? Wow, look at this. Oh my god, it's a puzzle game, huh? What is in this box? You find a green stone and a yellow stone in the storage box. You wonder what you could use these for. Oh boy. Alright, um... Control the machinery? Oh my. Okay. Um, now this. This is a RuneScape puzzle and a half. Okay. Um, oh, no, it didn't. Huh. All right, so I guess I'm... I'm trying to figure out how to read this map. If I look at it... I'm here, I suppose, and it forks off into these two sections. Okay. Now I have these pieces, but can I drag them, like, onto this map? No. Okay. Now let's just see what happens. The junction is blocked. I better go to the start... And find some way to make it go left or right. Okay. Um, Alright. 
Okay. Um, so here's the junction. Oh, I click on it. I see. Okay. Um, so now it looks like I'm going this way. And then... I can go... Right? And then now I'm going straight. And I can get that far. But that's not the right thing to do. I need to pick this up. I, I'm going to pretend that that's a treasure chest. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay. I need to get more pieces so I can get all the way across. I'm going to pretend that the equal signs are... Yeah, it is a treasure box. Look at that. This will give me a new piece or two, hopefully. You search the box and find another stone with a green marking on it. Perhaps you should take the cart back and start and see what we can do. All right, so now we have, what, like two right turns and two left turns or something to that effect? All right, so now we need to get to a place that's three junctions away, like over here. So um, click on that. Click on that. And then there we go. All right. The music here is awesome. This is hysterical. Oh my gosh. Oh, there I go. The music is kind of like... Um... All right, we got another yellow one. When you... It, it reminds me almost of, like, uh, chocobo racing music. Um, okay. Let me see here. All right, now... Click it. And I can switch which way I go. I still need to go back over here. Because I've gotten... I think I need to get this one. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, I wish I could zoom out. I think I got this one. Oh. Interesting, Sir Theodore. I think I got this one last time, and I need to get this one. We'll find out. If, if I need to get this one, then that's on me. But um, I need to get them both, so it's fine. Or I need to get one or the other. Might just take an extra second here. Oh, yeah. Well. Nope. Okay. I did. I got the wrong one. It's fine. I should have uh, taken a mental note. Okay, so I need to get this one. All right, so let's go over here. And then... Oh, but I can't. Okay. Um, I don't have the right pieces. Oh, okay, Nick, man. I should definitely do that. I mean, if I go this way... Not it. Um, let's try to get to this X, I guess. It's the only thing I can think of. 